Everything I do, I do with great joy and satisfaction for the good of the Church. And everything that is done is a great joy and comfort to me, because something is being done for the good of Christ's Church. I like to think about Saint Leopold Mandic, a man who, like me, came from a mixed background, where there were Orthodox, Catholics and Muslims. His words really made an impression on me when he said, well, I'm back, I've returned in obedience to my superiors, but in the confessional, I will do everything I can for the unity of the Christians. I don't think any differently, because we too are in a mixed region of Catholics, Orthodox and Muslims, so I took the motto for myself, that we may be all one, ut unum sint. Ut unum sint. In the cathedral in Strumica, one of the most touching moments of Holy Week is taking place. The apostolic exarch of the Eastern Rite of the Catholic Church of Macedonia, Kiro Stoyanov, begins the liturgical washing of the feet of his congregation. The symbolic value of this act, together with the bishop's energy and charisma, are the main stimulations to this small Catholic community. Father Zoran says that the appointing of this bishop sparked off a more fruitful phase for the Catholic Church in this Balkan state. In 1994, when he came here to Macedonia as a priest, that's when all these activities that we are talking about today began. That's when the priests started to meet together, then young priests started to come along. Even as an auxiliary bishop, he used to dedicate a lot of time to candidates for the priesthood, as well as already ordained priests. And even today, he just gets into his car and drives into one of the surrounding villages and walks around chatting to the people. At 40 he became a bishop, and even at that young age he convinces the people with his charisma and his simplicity that their bishop is very close to them. It's important to mention here too that he is the first member of the Macedonian people to partake in the Episcopal Assembly of the Catholic Church in over 104 years. Bishop Kiro Stoyanov is holding his bishop's mitre in one of the most difficult moments of the Catholic Church in this area. The Republic of Macedonia, as a new independent state, began with the disbanding of Yugoslavia. Surrounded by not the most well-intentioned neighbours, such as Greece, having faced Albanian rising nationalism, Macedonia is now going through crucifixion in its economic affairs. A large number out of the two million inhabitants live on the verge of poverty, apart from the turbulent political activities at state level and their difficult economic situation, a lot of pressure is put on the relationship between other denominations, especially the Orthodox Macedonian Church. However, Bishop Kirostoyanov believes that local misunderstandings are not and should never be allowed to be a reflection of the relationship between these two great Christian religions. Sometimes there are some local misunderstandings, such as the one in Sekirnik. 
Maybe the solving of that problem dragged on for too long. However, most sincerely, I can say that even there, we found a common ground. We solved it together with the cooperation of the Macedonian Orthodox Church. They were slightly against us building the church on the site that the previous one was burnt down on. At one stage, a Catholic and an Orthodox one stood together on that site. Our church was destroyed by one individual, an enemy who hated the Catholic Church. Anyway, today on that site, in that village, a new Catholic Church stands, and there's an Orthodox one there too. Last year the church had its dedication ceremony. The whole situation is normalized now, and it's as if the conflict never took place. The whole thing was caused by a few individuals who are ashamed of themselves now. We're Christians, of course, and Christian love is above all that. Bishop Kiro Stoyanov finds the best inspiration to fight for the unity of Christians from the example of his own hometown. I come from a village that is completely Catholic. We are surrounded by Orthodox villages, but as a child I never experienced any conflict between Orthodox and Catholics. My first four years of elementary school were in my own home village, Radovo. I attended the higher classes in another village where the children came from three surrounding villages. Never did I see a fight because some were Catholic and some were Orthodox. As a child, I can remember that some of the Orthodox even came to our church every week, not only for Mass, but also to baptize their children. They partook in the devotions together with us. So, as a child, I experienced ecumenism among us. With regard to the priests, I never saw any conflict between them, although I never saw any great cooperation between them either. The bishop's invitation to unity and mutual ecumenist initiatives wasn't without response. In the little town of Ohrid, the cradle of Christianity in these parts, the Catholic and Orthodox churches try to follow the ecumenist incentive by embarking on joint ventures in projects that are important for the whole community. One such project is founding a daycare centre for children who suffer from cerebral palsy. It takes place in the parish of St. George, but the financing and organization is the work of Father Stepan Kushan from the local Catholic parish. Father Dima has very positive reports about this project of ecumenical participation. <laughs> 